Hi ladies and gentlemen, this is video 2 of your FSA review packet. This is going to cover a problem like you'll see on week 1, day 1, and this is question 2. So, this problem has a number line, and it says that Jack knows that A plus B equals 0. So we're trying to figure out what statement is true. So we know a plus b equals zero. We can think back to the beginning of the year and there was a certain term we used when a number and a number equaled zero. And if you can't remember what it was, we called that a zero pair. Remember that we had a number plus its opposite would always give us zero. So when I see a number line like this and there's no values on it, and I know that a plus b equals zero, they must be the same distance away. So I can put a number here, I can put a one here, right? And I will know if I'm going the other way and it's the same distance, I know that I can put a negative one because these two are opposites. And I know that a, which is one, plus b, which would be a negative one, would equal zero. Now you can put any number you want here as long as they're opposites. I can put a four and a negative four because I know that's a zero's pair and that will equal zero. So now I can look at my statements and if I have said that a is one and b is negative one I can say well does one equal does one equal negative one? No, that's definitely not true. Now I can look here and say well does a negative b equal one? Well, let me think. If I have a negative and I put in negative 1 for b, does that equal 1? Well, I can take a negative times a negative because that's what that means on the outside. So negative times a negative would give me a positive, and this would be equivalent to 1 equals 1. So yeah, I could say b is definitely, definitely true. I can try the same thing for this. I can say 1 minus a negative one, one minus a negative one, and I know if I'm going in the negative direction and I'm going to subtract a, another one, I'm going to turn around. So one minus one is the same thing as saying, or one minus a negative one is the same thing as saying one plus one, and that equals two. So that doesn't equal zero, so that can't be correct either. And then the very last one, I have a negative one. I can put a negative one in for B and subtract another one. And I know if I'm at a negative one and go another one in the negative direction, that's going to give me negative two. So that doesn't equal zero either. So I know the only one that's true in this would be B. Thank you for watching, and I hope that helps.